Howdy do, folks. How y'all doing today? Well, uh, it's horror time once again. Today I thought I'd dress up like a horror character and talk about some horror movies. Anyway, uh, today let's talk about a wrong turn. I tell you, this is a great series with a mutant-looking cannibal guys living in the woods. It's kind of like Hills Have Eyes, but it takes place in the woods. You know, Hills Have Eyes takes place in the desert. Well, uh, these, they're in the woods. And, uh, there's two of them. They're actually coming out with three very soon. Uh, Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. But, uh, here's the first two. You got Wrong Turn and Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, Unrated. And I think these are both coming to Blu-ray uh, later this year, too. And Part 3 is coming to Blu-ray, too. But the first one's got a, I cannot say this girl's name, Elizabeth, or Elizabeth. Dushku? What kind of name is that? <laughs> Dushku? But, uh, she's pretty good in this movie. She's like the lead character, and then there's another guy and some other people, but, uh, they go in, uh, the woods, and they're pretty much attacked by these cannibalistic redneck guys, and it goes on from there, but it has a lot of action. It's, uh, pretty gory, and then, uh, I thought it was pretty good. I remember when it came out in theaters, I saw it, you know, I thought it was great. And, uh, DVD has some uh, extra features. It's also in, uh, full screen and widescreen, so that's pretty neat for those that don't have a widescreen TV yet. But a uh, great movie. If you like Hills Have Eyes, you'll enjoy this one. Lots of fun. Pretty bloody, too. And then they came out with a sequel, I believe in, uh, I think it was 2007, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, Unrated. This one has, a, I think, one of the mutants from the first movie, or redneck, cannibalistic mutant, whatever you want to call them. But, uh, and there's a bunch of other mutants in this one. And uh, there's a whole dinner scene and everything. And that was pretty crazy. But it's a really good sequel. It's a, it's more of a horror comedy, really. But it just has some kind of gross parts. But I like how they had the old guy that played in uh, the first one. The kind of old guy with the rotten teeth that, that gave him the wrong directions and all that. He plays in this one, too. I like how he came back in this one. I don't think he'll be in the third one. But uh, he was good in this movie. I like that character. He's funny. He's uh, evidently the uh, grandpa of all the mutant-looking guys. But uh, these are a lot of fun. Definitely check them out if you like Kills Have Eyes. I'd say they're kind of on the same level, except in the woods. But uh, lots of fun. I'll definitely be checking out Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. But uh, y'all have a good day now, and uh, check out those mutants in the woods. They're pretty good. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.